Hello everybody, Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools. Hope you're having, well, the best day you can so far despite these circumstances. Cleanup efforts continue all over throughout, not only the mid-state, but right here in Wilson County, right in that damage path. So many people coming out to say, what can I do? How can I help? I see teachers out this morning rolling up their sleeves saying, I'm getting to work. And these are the same teachers who were directly affected uh, by both the tornado at West Wilson and Stoner Creek. We want to take this opportunity to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the people who have said, hey, I've got an, I've got an idea on what maybe we, we could do with the students as they try to relocate from West Wilson and Stoner Creek, offering spaces, offering uh, a lot of things, and they have been just tremendous. And please know that these offers uh, are ones that we deeply, deeply appreciate it, and they are take being taken into account for. Um, it's just we need to devise the best plan that's going to be the most uh, feasible. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of logistics that go into this. Too long for this video to go into, but just know that there's a, a lot of logistics, safety concerns, those types of things. We want to make sure that these students are in the best learning environment possible. We want that for them. Uh, and we hope the community understands that that's, that's our end goal, to make sure that they are in the best environment possible to close out that school year. I can tell you this, uh, plans on that will be coming in the coming days. Uh, so at this point, the best thing you can do is continue to help your neighbor, uh, help out in ways that uh, the public is maybe asking. I know that Mount Julia Police, they've already actually already had uh, enough volunteers sign up at this point. So there's no need to go on the volunteer portal with them because hey, we're the volunteer state and we have showed up and showed out uh, following this tragedy. So there are plenty of other ways to help. I can tell you I have uh, been in communication with West Wilson principal, Ms. Beverly Sharp this morning. Uh, she's even saying, you know what, I, I don't even know what we need right now. Um, so the best thing to do is just continue to be patient and hold out. And when that plan is released, uh, probably next week, I'll go ahead and tell you that probably next week that will be released. Then at that point, we can kind of uh, gear our, our efforts into things that might be needed. Uh, same goes for Stoner Creek. Uh, also, too, I um, can kind of show you here, uh, the area to uh, West Wilson is fenced off. Many of you have driven by, you've seen that. So don't think you're missing out on any cleanup efforts at West Wilson or Stoner Creek behind West Wilson because you can see some, possibly some people that are kind of on the parking lot and on the premises. Uh, there are some people that are have been in and out of school. These are certainly insurance adjusters, uh, professionals who are trying to document things that we need uh, for our purposes, for their purposes just a lot of business stuff they're tending to so it's best to keep everybody away uh, from these schools while they work through that process as well so in closing and a recap uh, again it goes without we cannot say thank you enough to all the wonderful people who have offered uh, space and solutions to uh, to the students and staff and teachers who will be re relocated uh, following a plan that will be released very very soon and what that will look like um, it's just that there were certain criteria that we must meet and the number one thing is safety for our students because combined folks you're talking about around 1700 students combined when it comes to West Wilson Middle and Stoner Creek Elementary and these students that's uh, that's nearly that's around 1700 hearts that are near and dear to us and we want them as safe as can be in a in a comfortable environment uh, one that uh, can be as seamless as possible. We know that's that's going to be very difficult to accomplish, but we just want the best solution. So plans are being devised right now, and those solutions and all those things take into account more than anything. Uh, the district just wants to express our sincere appreciation to all those offers uh, that the community has provided, uh, churches, businesses, everything. Um, it, we're all in this together. We are. <laughs> truly are and uh, it's been Wilson strong stronger together all through this week and we'll continue on until we can find the light we need to get through all of this and uh, the way the community support is coming out uh, my goodness what a way that this community comes together and uh, goes without saying because again we are the volunteer state and we are Wilson County Schools and we will get through this all right folks I'm Bart Barker for Wilson County Schools I'll catch you later